Like most isolated districts throughout the country, delivering government services remains a challenge for Telefomin. Their isolation doubles the cost of delivery, which then affects the amount and quality of service they receive. For districts like Telefomin, this challenge is over 40 years old. Basic services like health, education and roads have been left with little government assistance. However, for the last four years, the district's telephoning station has been slowly seeing some changes. Local MP Solan Medicine believes the district has a long way to go in tangible development reaching all corners of telephoning. All service will come also telephoning. And we know easy to have. Love change come hurry up. And we have to less. Now everybody taking time long, something will come up. During the week, the MP delivered and launched small projects at Yapsi LLG. He delivered a walkabout sawmill and a solar-powered IT and communication technology equipment for the remote Wauru community. Mirisim says these projects are part of his development strategy, where he believes the walkabout sawmill will empower the community to build proper health clinics, classrooms, and also their own private homes. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Telefomin High School will receive over 5 million kina worth of infrastructure development this year. Funds have been allocated from the district's 2016 DSIP budget, which will be released next month. Furthermore, additional relief supplies were distributed to drought-affected areas that are now facing the after-effects of El Nino. People are close to 40 tons of oil The government will still continue to support the people. Uh, only looks how well uh, this uh, district, also I mean, most affected districts. Rain may come down. That's all still Pinatang, Wokalokaike, Wokota, Taruna, Kaukauna. Stanley Over Jr., National MTV News.